If you're shopping for a new car and live where the weather can be inclement, cold, snowy, icy, etc., you'd be wise to consider something with all-wheel drive. And if you don't want a crossover like everyone else, pay attention. And we're back with another short list because YouTube hasn't closed our account yet for copyright infringement or, or loan sharking. I mean, there's also racketeering, securities fraud, and witness tampering, plus a few crimes against humanity for good measure. Nothing happened in the Balkans, but I digress. You're here to learn about all-wheel drive cars, not Auto Guide's rap sheet. And we start with a Ford, specifically the Taurus SEL. Four-corner traction is offered in this mid-range model for an extra $1,850, bringing its base price to $32,500. For that outlay, you also get a 288 horsepower, 3.5 liter V6, and a six-speed automatic transmission. But undercutting the bull by 110 bucks is Buick's Regal. This bright-faced four-door can be yours for $32,390. It's powered by a 259-horse turbo four that's paired with a six-speed auto magic gearbox. And what could be better? Well, I'm not actually sure, but I can tell you what's cheaper. The next model on this list of budget-friendly all-wheel drive cars can be found at your local Dodge dealer. The large and lovely Charger fits the bill, and for just 31 grand and change, with room for five adults, this sizable sedan features 292 horsepower, an eight-speed automatic transmission, and up to 27 miles per gallon on the highway. Like its big bloated brother, the Taurus, Ford's Fusion sedan is also available with all-wheel drive. You can get it as an option on SE trim models, which are one step up from the most affordable. So equipped, they sticker for an entirely reasonable 29 grand. This gets you a rear spoiler, 18-inch wheels, and a 2-liter EcoBoost engine that's rated at 245 horsepower. The Taurus, Regal, Charger, and Fusion are all sedans. It's an embarrassment of four-door riches, but fear not because we do in fact have some variety on this list. Next up, a trio of station wagons. And we start with the not-so-mini Cooper Clubman All-4, a retro-styled hauler with 134 horses and a standard six-speed manual transmission. Base price for this bubbly and versatile car is less than $28,000. Compared to other members of the Golf family, Volkswagen's Golf Alltrack features a bit of extra ground clearance and more aggressive body cladding, which makes it a bit more suited to light-duty off-roading. Starting at $26,670, you can think of it as a budget Audi all-road. But undercutting this elevated offering by about two grand is another V-dub, the Golf Sport Wagon 4 Motion. Spacious, sophisticated, and priced to sell, this wonder from Wolfsburg offers a six-speed stick, all-wheel drive, and 170 horsepower. But what if you want a mid-sized sedan with all-wheel drive? Well, unfortunately, your options are rather limited, but one of the best is probably Legacy from that car company with the sparkly logo. Base price for this family hauler is less than 23 grand, which gets you, among other things, 175 horsepower and segment leading safety. Next up, the aging Lancer sedan, which is affordable even by Mitsubishi standards. With four corner traction on board, this compact model can be yours for as little as $21,160, excluding any rebates, of which there are probably many. Still, your initial investment gets you 16-inch two-tone alloy wheels, a 168 horsepower MyVec engine, and an efficient CVT. But that's still awfully rich. Fortunately, we've got one more vehicles, plural, to cover. The most affordable all-wheel drive car available in America, or at least the cheapest one we've been able to uncover, short of that Aerostar van that's rotting away in the field behind your uncle's cabin. I offered to buy it. He wouldn't take 1200 though. Offering incredible value, versatility, and, of course, four-corner traction is the Subaru Impreza, which is available as both a sedan and hatchback. Base price for the five-door is an exceedingly reasonable $19,715, but the sedan is 500 bucks cheaper than that. 
And either way, you get 152 horsepower, a 5-speed stick, and 24 MPG City. See, I told you there were plenty of affordable all-wheel drive cars out there, and if you want something that won't get stuck when the first snowflakes fall, you know what to shop for. Anyway, thanks again for watching, and we'll do it again next time. So you've made it to the end of another shortlist. Congratulations, good job you. Now, might I suggest if you like what you saw here that you check out the previous episode that we uploaded. It's all about Ford Expedition. In fact, it's nine interesting facts about this fabled Detroit SUV. You should totally check it out. You might learn a thing or two.